Hi, this is Chad Everson, and this is Temerity Magazine. We come to you with two segments of Relic and Treasure Hunters from across the world every day on Rick Osmond's Duke Palupa Cafe. Don't forget about our on, online and in print magazine. You can find it at temeritymag.com. Join us as an author. January 20th is our deadline for submissions, and all you have to do is email email those submissions, photos, uh, and links to your videos too, because we're always looking for people with temerity that can share their passion for this great addiction. Who knows, you might see yourself right here. Please send it to your editor at temeritymagazine.com, and I hope you're getting inspired, Indiana, to get a little grizzly right in your own grizzly backyard, because you have an amazing history there and it's just waiting for you to dig it up. Hi, I'm Auntie Kay, Yard Sales Zarina. And I'm Uncle Venti, the Ventus Toolman. Here with our Temerity Magazine segment on the Oopa Loopa Cafe. Our segment today is about the Barn Show, one of the most unique antique decor and gift selling venues in the Maryland area. The Barn Show was started about eight years ago by Maria Nucci and several of her friends. They have four sales a year, spring, summer, fall, and their fabulous holiday sale that's going on right now. So we're gonna go check out the barn and speak with Maria and the rest of the barn crew. I'm here with the barn crew. This, this whole concept is just fabulous. So I'm going to have the barn crew introduce themselves this is the third day of their sale. They're exhausted, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure they can do it. All right, drum roll. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Greg. I'm Maria. I'm Kari. I'm Gail. And I'm Kenny. All right, the barn crew. Ta-da. All right, we're gonna take a few minutes to speak with Maria and find out a little bit more about this whole barn production. All right, so Maria, tell me a little bit how you got started with this whole barn show concept. We was out to dinner one night, and she's asked me about the barn, and previously my husband and his brothers, they did their own business out of here, ran their offices, and then everybody moved, so the barn was empty. So we decided it would be great to do sales in the barn. So me and her and another girl, we got together, we came and we looked at the barn, and we got all these great ideas and got a couple of the girls together and we started and it's going to be going on our eighth year next year. Wow. And you do a lot of that. You do a lot of restoring of furniture and other items. Yes. And you also, it looks like you've commissioned some jewelry and other kinds of artwork. Yes, we have a little bit of everything and something for everyone. So it's sort of a gift boutique. Antiques and gifts boutique? Yes. Antiques, gifts repurposed furniture to fit into the new modern houses. Okay, well, I can tell everybody, you can tell from the shots, on Friday this place was jam-packed. It's Sunday. You guys have done really well. Oh, thank They've you. They've sold a lot of items. If you're in the local area, come on out, check out the barn sale. Your next sale will be in the spring. Yeah, it should be the first um, weekend of April. Okay, and you can get on the website and get on their mailing list so you'll know when that show is coming up. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. That's it for our segment. We'll be back with more yard sale finds and their stories. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Get a little grizzly.